Let's get over to our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. Fred, folks, okay, is the CEO and president of Vista Gold. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American as well as in Canada under the symbol VGZ. And uh, bottom line is that, uh, needless to say, we have gold right now at all time highs. Vista's been moving. We happen to own Vista. Fred, welcome back to TFNN. Tom, it's great to be back. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, so, yeah, since the last time I had you on, I mean, there's been quite an acceleration higher in the gold and silver market, lower in the dollar. You know, you've had a lot of action at Mount Todd, uh, Australia. And uh, give us an update, please. No, it's been an exciting time in the gold business. Uh, you know, just this morning we announced uh, some results of the second phase of our drill program at Mount Todd, where we're yes. drilling a structure called the uh, South Crossload. The veins there are thicker, higher grade. We announced uh, amongst the results a couple of intercepts, half a meter at 50 grams per ton, and, and another intercept of a meter wide vein at 25.89 grams per ton. It's a pretty exciting time for us. It's huge. There's no doubt about that. Fred, what happens the, you know, um, of course, I've had the gold report for 22 years and I've been looking, you know, whether it's the gold equities, uh, the silver equities, and it is pretty wild that gold is so much higher than we've ever been, but yet the equities still aren't there, you know, so it's really intriguing. So, what, what is the, has the expense ratio, I'm not just talking about Invista now, is it, but has the expense ratio gone up that dramatically that people are worried about it? Or where do you think is, what do you think is happening there? You know, that, that, that's an interesting question. I think it's got everybody scratching their heads in the industry. Uh, obviously, producers are doing better than, uh, than uh, anybody else because they're free, pro, free, crash, free cash flowing. Sorry. Yes. Um, the the developers on the other hand, we just, we're lagging, and I think that that's in part due to uh, the fact that uh, producers are more interested in acquiring other producers to achieve an increase in ounces and, and maintain their production profiles today, rather than taking on the risk of developers. But uh, that, oh, that can't go on forever. No, I, I agree. You know, yesterday I was talking on the air, Fred, that you know. We've been doing this long enough that I was saying, you know, this is going to get really interesting because what has happened, folks, is that the ETF structures in gold, they were going down for a while. Now, they start coming back last year, thank God. But it's like, okay, is it going to be a frenzy? Because we know how the gold market works. The gold market is very, it's much smaller than people think, you know. So once the acceleration starts, it's pretty amazing. So on Mount Todd, I know you, you, you got a, a big investor in wheat and precious metals. What are the next steps as you're going forward in order to bring that mine, making that mine even worth more money? Well, we've, uh, we've recently been uh, talking about the fact that uh, near the end of the year, we're going to kick off a feasibility study for a, a, a project that instead of being 50,000 tons a day, it's going to be scaled somewhere in the range of 12 to 17,000 tons a day. We're nice. targeting 150 to 200,000 ounces of gold per year production, a capex less than 400 million, and a reserve grade around a gram per ton. We think that uh, we think that that'll be a much more attractive project in this market, and then certainly it can be expanded down the road. and And we hope to finish that study in the middle of next year. Nice, because there's no doubt that the gross number of gold versus the gross number of getting it out of the ground for you, the expansion has been really dramatic, meaning in a great way, because of the price of gold. And I can tell you, now this is my personal point of view, but this dollar right now, this dollar right now, we're coming down, the dollar index I'm talking about, but we're coming down to the very lower pot, and it looks to me like we're building cause for that dollar to race, basically get into the 89 area. Now, if that's what we get, <laughs> we are going to get quite an expansion in gold. I mean, and we've been there. It's just that we've been at the 100, you know, pot for about seven years right now. But like even today, the wide price spread that the dollar has is basically saying that, hey, we're going, we're going lower on the dollar. And we all know how this works. If you get a lower dollar, all commodities in general, but particularly gold, you know, is going topside. And then on top of that, what do you think about the idea? This is, this is really in intriguing. You know, we have gold at all-time highs. Now, silver is a 
big deal today. Silver today, we get over, um, I think it was over a million contracts, which you never get. No, it's over 100,000, sorry, which you never get. Um, but what do you think the differential there is happening between the silver and gold market? You know, silver's got more industrial uses than gold. Okay. And uh, that's always been a driver for it. Yep. But uh, I, I, I think that silver has been lagging gold as well. And at some point, these two have got to realign, you know, and, and, and I think that there's, uh, I think there's some opportunity for some movement there as well, Tom. Yeah, no, it's a huge lag. There's no doubt that it's a huge lag. Now, let's talk, you know, I mean, the, the bottom line is you're doing business in Australia. Australia, folks, okay, it's a great mining district. I mean, it's huge, okay? Uh, so doing business there, Fred, doing business in an Australian dollar, talk to me about as we go forward, what are the pluses to, to being in Australia and dealing with your expense ratio in the Australian dollar? Well, you know, right now the we, we, the the Aussie dollar, everybody thinks it's low, but it's uh, not far off of its historic uh, its historic average. Yes, Australia is uh, Australia is one of I would say the the top five mining jurisdictions in the world. You know, right up there with the U.S., Canada. Yes, um, it's it's a great place to do business. Uh, the Northern Territory just lowered their royalty rate from from what would have been the equivalent of 7% ad valorem tax to a 3.5% fixed ad valorem tax uh, or royalty. And, uh, you know, I, I think that just speaks to the, the incredible support for the extractive minerals industry, the, the mining industry specifically. Well, it, certain, um, it certainly does. And, I mean, with rights, it should, because the bottom line is that, you know, when you do get this mine up and going, the amount of jobs that are created, good jobs, are pretty amazing, right? Absolutely. And it's not just us. You know, the Northern Territory's leadership is very supportive of the mining industry. Yes. They recognize that more mines is ge generating revenue and generating jobs for the territory is something that's very important for the territory. And they're, and they're anxious to see that happen. Yeah, there's no doubt. Well, listen, Fred, we really appreciate the update. You know, I know you've been, you know, working your butt off for a long period of time. The cool thing is, is that, you know, we finally are getting the price of gold. And, you know, I, I would say that, you know, we know that, you know, gold, silver, speculative, all of that. But I don't think it's as speculative as folks think anymore. I think it's a solid deal, period. I mean, because yeah, asset price, you know, feel it, taste it, buy something with it. I mean, I think it's real. And I think the dollar on the other side, you know, is going to come down. It'll still be strong. In correlation of the currencies, but the bottom line, it's going down. And if that's going down, commodities are going up. And we definitely believe in a strong gold price, and we think that it's that bodes nothing but good news for Vista Gold and our Mount Todd Gold Project. No doubt. And listen, it's been a great run, and I appreciate all the work. And you have a great one and a safe one, man. Okay. Look forward to having you on again. Thank you. All the best. Thanks. Take care.